What's up guys, Ace here. This is the second video in a series all about nature healing. This video will go over what E's there are and in what party size to use them. In future episodes, we will go in depth into each of these weapons, these are just the basics. This video was co-written by my friend and fellow nature healer Samatato. You can find links to his YouTube channel and Twitch account in the description. There are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip ahead to any topic. Last video we talked about what Q, W, and Passive to pick. We'll start this video off by talking about the different E's, which ones are good, which ones are less so, and when to pick which. Let's start with One-Handed Nature, Circle of Life. After an 0.5 second cast, you heal up to 5 allies in an 11 meter radius. The more Q stacks they have on them, the more it heals. When you're using the Thorns Q ability instead, every enemy inside with 3 or more Thorn stacks takes damage and gets rooted for a short duration. I had to test how this heal actually works, as I've never used this weapon with a party bigger than 5. After some quick testing with the help from some people from the community discord, we figured out that the heal picks the 5 closest targets, including yourself. If you are at a party with 6 or more people, and you want to heal some low HP target on the edge of the range, you might want to reposition first. This nature staff is probably the most complex nature staff to use, as the E requires you to keep stacks up on as many people as possible. Having everyone properly stacked value E can be quite challenging, and that's why most people will use this weapon with the W Rejuvenating Breeze. However, I feel like this is not the optimal play. This stuff only heals up to 5 allies, so using this in a party with more or 6 people just isn't optimal. Using Breeze in a 5-man party is kind of a waste of a W. This weapon shines if you're really good at keeping Q stacks up. Next up is Great Nature, Living Armor. You or an ally gain a small amount of resistances for 4 seconds. Whenever you or the ally takes direct damage, they gain some health. This weapon can be extremely powerful, but it has quite a few flaws. If you are fighting a group that does not know how to handle this weapon, you can feel immortal. I'd recommend only using this weapon in a party size of 2-3. to three. Adding more people will be difficult as your E only heals one target. More experienced groups will also play around the E pretty effectively, making it almost useless. Living armor is quite noticeable, making purging it quite easy. And groups without purges can just not hit you for 4 seconds and ruin your healing attempts. Well Staff, Well of Life. You place down a circle with a 7 meter radius. Up to 10 allies heal inside per second. In my opinion, this is the best nature staff between a party sizes 4 and 20. The only reason I'm not using this currently is something we'll get into in the next video, and it's all about Theo crafting builds. This E outheals any other nature staff in the game, besides maybe a rampant staff in CVZ. The E, however, is interruptible and stationary, so be mindful of your allies clumping up. While trying to figure out the targeting on this weapon, we found some very mixed results. Sometimes it's healing people from west to east, Sometimes someone southeast is getting heals. To properly test this, I would need 10 plus people in a Discord call, but I, I haven't had the chance to do that yet. If I do ever get the results on this question, I will let you know in a future episode. Next up is Druidic Staff, Spiritual Seed. Put an unpurgeable seed on you or an ally. After 3 seconds, the target is healed for a sizable amount. You can recast this ability within 2.5 seconds to cast a second seed on a second target. Doing so changes the cooldown from 20 to 30 seconds. This used to be the undisputed best nature staff for any group below 5. However, it has recently been mega nerfed and it's completely ruined the weapon. In comparison, one-handed nature e heals more targets, heals for more if the target is properly stacked, has almost half the cooldown in 18 seconds, while druidic e heals only 2 people for less health and has a 30 second cooldown. Another comparison is Rampant Staff, the only other nature staff with a 30 second cooldown E, which is ridiculous. I would never recommend using this weapon anymore until it gets some buffs. The only viable way to use this weapon right now is solo, where you don't get punished for using your E twice. Plight Staff, Elevated Nature. Gain a 9 meter aura that heals up to 10 allies every 0.8 seconds. Gives the caster a 15% movement speed buff and cannot be interrupted. This is probably the most played nature staff at the moment. It is incredibly easy to use and takes little to no skill. It is fairly effective at what it does, so for a new nature healer this is a good weapon to begin with. However, Wild can have a far superior healing output when played right. When pressing your Blight E, you're missing 5.6 seconds of Qs, a chance to use your W, Helmet, Robe, Boots, Resist Potion, or anything else. Placing a proper Wild E is a lot harder than pressing E on the Blight though. After some testing, we figured out the targeting on this weapon works the same as one-handed nature. It goes from closest to furthest. And a bit of bonus information many of you might not know about this weapon. It says it heals every 0.8 seconds for 5.6 seconds, which would mean a total of 7 ticks. However, this weapon heals immediately upon pressing E, so you get a bonus tick of healing. This doesn't apply for Rampant and Wild Staff though. 
Rampant Staff Spirit Animal. Release a stack that runs in a direction. Any ally that touches the stack gains a small burst heal. The stack leaves your carpet healing up to 20 allies inside for a tiny amount per second. But for every ally that's standing on top of the carpet, the heal is increased by 20%. Rampant Staff is practically unusable in small scale. The burst heal is way too small, and the healing over time doesn't heal a lot unless there's like 15 plus people standing on it. The E targets people the same as one-handed nature and blight does, closest to a spawn location of the deer first. This might be useful to know when you're doing some CVZs. Last up we have Iron Root, Sol Link. Bind two people together, you can link allies, enemies and yourself. Linking two allies, 100% of the healing received is transferred to the linked target. 50% of the damage taken is also transferred to the linked target. Linking an ally and an enemy, 30% of the enemy's healing received is transferred to the ally. 10% of the damage the ally takes is transferred to the enemy. Linking to enemies. 50% of the damage taken is transferred to the other enemy as true damage. This skill is worded poorly. For example, linking two allies says 100% of the healing is transferred to the other ally. Which means if you're healing one ally for 100, you also heal ally 2 for 100. Which all makes sense. The exact same wording is used for the damage portion though. Which would imply if ally 1 takes 100 damage, ally 2 would take 50. But no. After some kind stranger in the yellow zone helped us, we found out that the person taking damage only takes half, and the link target only takes 25%. This weapon also has some of the jankiest targeting in the game. If you start the link on yourself, you for god knows what reason completely lose your target. This means you have to retarget the ally or the enemy to successfully complete the link. This makes using this weapon kinda awkward. I would only recommend using this weapon in a group size of 2 or 3, although some groups use it as a DPS increase for certain PvE content. The deciding factor when picking your staff should be your party size. Are you playing in a group of 2 or 3 people? I recommend using Great Nature or Iron Root. Are you playing in a group of 3 to 5 people? I would recommend One Handed Nature or Wild Staff. Are you playing in a group from 6 to 20 people? You should try Wild or Blight Staff. Are you doing a ZBZ? I'd recommend trying out Wild, Blight or Rampant Staff. This was all pretty basic information about the E's. If you'd like to learn more about any of the weapons specifically, I'll make a guide for each weapon individually. This concludes episode 2 of the healer guide. The basics are finally out of the way, next episodes we can talk way more in depth about more important topics. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to join the community discord, or drop by while I'm streaming. Links can both be found in the description. Have a good one, bye!